what's up you guys welcome back to another video i just first want to start off by saying thank you guys so 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 much from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support on my video about my dad i was so 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 nervous to make that video i didn't really know if i should post it even up until the posting day i was so unsure about it i just didn't know what people were gonna think and i've never really told my story in such a vulnerable way and i know from the bottom of my heart i was supposed to post it you know i've waited like four years to post anything about my dad like my true full raw story i've always put off i've always waited every single year because i've never was ready and now that i'm 25 i feel like this was my year to post it and i know that was the end of me trying to get in my head telling me not to post it but i am so thankful i did you guys have left the most positive encouraging comments under that video and i am just so thankful for you guys supporting and sharing my dad's story it just means so 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 much to me with that being said i wanted to make a follow-up video and kind of give you guys an update during the making of that video i really felt like i wanted to go to september 11th this year for the 9 11 ceremony i wanted to be in that atmosphere i wanted to be near my dad and so that's what we did while i was in new york i actually had the most amazing opportunity to film something in new york relating to my dad's story which i won't really get into detail on this video but it is bringing my dad's story to life and i am just so excited to share that with you guys and it really came to life so part of my trip i was actually there filming that as well like i said this year is such an exciting year for me i have important meetings and interviews and something really special that i'm doing later in the year that i cannot wait to share with you guys since i've been doing so many different interviews and different things even connected to Israel, I decided to kind of step up my wardrobe and order some clothes from Amazon because I was kind of lacking on what to wear. And so this is what I'm going to be packing to New York. On Amazon, I found this amazing company called Blooming Jelly and I want to share a little bit about it with you guys. Blooming Jelly focuses on women's fashion and really uniquely expressing yourself. They believe just like I do that fashion should be accessible to every woman and that through that they should be able to express their personality and style through what they wear. They want you to feel confident and beautiful while wearing it and I definitely found that in these clothes. They have affordable prices, they're high quality, and they are so comfortable but also really cute. It is so easy to buy on Amazon. They have free shipping and free returns. And I even put in my description how to buy the exact things that I bought so you guys can look kind of like me kind of fun <laughs> and i got you guys a secret discount just for you guys when you shop my link so you can use my code blooming jelly to get 30 percent off of your first order that is blooming jelly for 30 percent off your first order i want to show you guys a few pieces that i got because i think it is so fun so i got this cute red shirt for september 11th because you know my dad was a firefighter so i wanted to represent red and look at this shirt the detailing is my favorite and they fit so good i already tried them on with my skirt and instead of just showing you guys what I got, maybe I'll just do a try-on haul. Let's give the try-on haul. So I got this one, which I would probably wear with jeans, like light wash jeans. I am obsessed. I love v-necks because they show off your necklaces really nicely. And then I just wanted to show you this color because I love it with my hair. And I love this teal color and I think it is so cute. I'd probably wear it with like white skinny jeans, like ripped a little bit just to like add some style to it. But I am obsessed. I love this. It is just so, so, so cute, but I still feel fancy. Even with the short skirt, I feel like it still dresses it up a bit. And I love the little v-neck here. And this was the red one that I was talking about, which I also love so much. And I feel like this shade of red is just so pretty and bold. I love the fit of it too because it's a little loose, but it still makes you look good. This black one I actually tucked in, which I really love, and I am obsessed with the sleeves. It is perfect for fall, and I love it tucked in with like black high boots will be so cute. So yeah, that was my little haul. I am so excited. You can use my link down below in the description and use code blooming jelly for 30% off. I am so excited. I am in the middle of packing, which is so, so, so exciting. So now that I'm back in Orlando, I really just wanted to share with you guys a few of my days while in New York and share with you some stories and some things that happened because there were so many memorable things that happened that I just never want to forget. So I wanted to make a video and kind of show you guys what I did and I might have bought a few things and really just share with you guys my New York trip. So the beginning of our trip actually started off pretty bad. We got to the Orlando airport at three o'clock on September 9th. Two days before September 11th, we wanted to make sure that we could get on all of our flights and make it there with a day to spare just in case anything happened. And boy, 
I am so glad that we did that. We got to the airport, everything went so smooth, took our bags, everything, we boarded the plane. Literally, we were sitting on the plane and 10 minutes later they said, hey guys, just to let you know, JFK has stopped all movement to the airport, but we should be getting the green light soon. So we're like, okay, bet. Sit on the plane, 20 more minutes goes by, they come on the intercom and we're like, yes. They say, if you guys would like to do plane, you are welcome to, we will let you know when we get further notice and then we'll board the plane and leave just stay by the gate and so we we're like great so emmy gets off the plane first and then it's like 30 minutes and then we're like let's go with emmy because they didn't let her get back on the plane and she had our snacks and we were getting hungry so we got off the plane we ate our snacks we were just like kind of fooling around having fun noah was like doing push-ups noah was doing push-ups actually this whole entire trip i do not know why but it was so 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 funny we were showing noah some pilates movements it was honestly just so much fun i feel like those moments when everything goes to crap that's when you have like the most fun and you just kind of make the most of what you have and that's exactly what we were doing and we got us a bunch of snacks we were just fooling around and having fun and then we finally got the green light at 10 o'clock to board the plane and we were like yes Finally, we're making it out. I was nervous for a second and then we get on the plane and then 10 minutes pass by and they go Actually, the flight is canceled and that was devastating. I just instantly had anxiety I was so nervous and scared that we weren't gonna get there for September 11th And this was like the one year that I like I felt like I needed to be there I wanted to be there so bad and I was like no because I know JFK and rebooking and everything is such a pain Everything is expensive last minute and I was just freaking out and so we get off the plane and of course there's like a humongous line to rebook your your flights and then we were standing in the line they closed down the line and they're like call the number luckily Emmy somehow texted the app oh my gosh if you guys are flying Delta text the app they rebooked our flights rechanged our flights to stay later on in the week and did everything for free it was honestly a life changer. The only downside was we had to wake up in like four hours to drive all the way to Tampa, cause we are in Orlando, to literally take a flight to Boston, where we literally had to get a rental car and drive to New York City. But we were determined, and I am so thankful for my friends that they were also determined and didn't just give up on it. We were just exhausted, but we actually had Nobu reservations, which is our favorite restaurant in New York City, and it's right next to our hotel. So we got all ready for it, and that was honestly Honestly, a lot of fun we went to Nobu and the best thing happened Justin my great 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 friend from Israel surprised me and he showed up to dinner which is just so heartwarming because we literally met him in Israel and now he's like one of my best friends so he literally just walked in and I was just so excited to see him we laughed a lot we had so much fun we ate great sushi and then it was time for bed because we actually had to be up super super early for September 11th the next morning it's actually quite interesting they block off like two roads and they only let family members in there's like so much police and it's honestly just kind of like a surreal experience we go there super early we see my uncle and my grandparents and then my uncle actually got to read my dad's name and my brother-in-law hero fighter hero firefighter rescue one kenneth joseph marino only wish you got to play baseball and softball with sophia and zachary from there, we just went over to see my dad's name and we took some pictures, we touched his name, we said hello. And it was actually really funny because Noah had bought me a American flag on the street from like a street vendor to put in my dad's name because that's something that you do to kind of remember the people that had passed away. So this flag was very big. And so me and my poppy, which is my dad's dad, were trying to like stick it in the hole and we finally got it. It barely fit and it kind of symbolizes my dad because my dad was so tall and this flag was bigger than all the other flags and it was just kind of like towering over all the other flags and it's just like my dad like he towered over everyone he was 6'5 so it just made sense that this flag was with my dad so we actually turned around to look at something and it was very windy and the wind literally blew the flag into the memorial pool and 
like thinking back on it like that's so my dad like my dad wanted to take the flag with him or something like it was honestly just like a good memory and like kind of funny like uh oh like this is such like a clean nice pool there's nothing in it and then there's my dad's american flag in there but it was overall just such a nice time after the memorial we went to lunch which was so much fun we got some dessert we talked about so many memories i always like asking my nana and my poppy and my mom their favorite memories with my dad and if they had any specific memories that they remember of me and my dad i always love asking i always hear new stories and it's just so much fun to just kind of remember him and talk about him because we don't we try not to talk about it often just because it's kind of a sensitive subject so it was really nice to just sit down and talk to them after lunch we decided to drive to my dad's firehouse rescue one we said hello to the guys and they are always just so 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 welcoming they're always like this is your home come in do whatever you want take coffee take food whatever you want to do just please make yourself at home like, you're always so sweet i always love to go look at all the photos and point out my dad and find new ones that i've never seen and i just showed emmy and noah around even though they've been there a few times now it's just always fun to relive those memories of walking through the firehouse and the firemen actually were so sweet they took us up all the way to the top and showed us their view from the rooftop and then noah actually slid down the pole but he definitely did not slide he like grasped with his muscles down the pole and the firemen got a good laugh out of it which was really funny i was like i don't think that's the way that you're supposed to slide down the pole but okay you do you and actually something so interesting happened while we were at the firehouse and this is why i love going because you know all the firemen talk and some of the firemen knew my dad and some of them don't and they hear a lot of stories of so many people coming through because they're like the most elite firehouse so they have a lot of people just coming through and paying respects and this one fireman had said that he heard that my dad had stopped on the 30th floor that morning on September 11th and had helped a guy with a heart attack and like they cut open his shirt and like set him up for success or whatever and then he said then they went up back on their way up the stairs which I've never heard that story and it's really cool to hear that my dad was, you know, helping out and help someone in need even though there was something so much larger at hand like he still just stopped and made time to help someone that was having a heart attack which I think is just something special to have found out and I haven't really heard any stories of my dad in the building so that was just kind of really sweet to hear but after the firehouse we actually got to go to the Mets game so there's a foundation called answer the call which helped families of firefighters and they asked if we wanted to go to a Mets game that night so we went it was so much fun they gave us little baggies we got to see the conference room and they had a little 9-11 ceremony and it was just kind of an overall nice night me and Noah had never gone to a baseball game together so it was just just like a lot of fun we got you know the classic hot dog and we watched the game we put our feet up it was just a lot of fun and me emmy and noah actually wore our matching fdny rescue one shirts to remember my dad the Mets were one of his favorite teams so it was just really special to be there on september 11th doing something that my dad loved after the Mets game we went home and we went to bed and actually one of our favorite things was going to insomnia cookies and that's just like a late night cookie spot that we went to and we went like every single night and and that was just like a fun memory that we had too. The next morning on September 12th was actually a crazy day that I can't really talk about too much, but I filmed something to do with my dad's story with my mom and i am just so excited to put that out for y'all and for you guys to see it it shall be coming out soon but the whole entire day i literally just talked about my dad her new memories talked about things that have affected me just the whole nine yards about my dad and it was so special doing it in his city when it came to that night i actually just like broke down in tears i was having a really really hard time just because i hadn't really had enough time to process everything i was just kind of going 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 from the next thing and like talking about my dad and everything and it hadn't hit me at all like even on september 11th like i kind of just stayed strong and i really tried to hold myself together but that night i literally just bawled my eyes out like i couldn't even look at the memorial because our room overlooked it and i literally could not even like look at the memorial without crying thinking that he passed away there like it was just really hard and of course that was the night that my mom had left to go back to massachusetts and so i'm super attached to my mom and it was just really hard to say goodbye to her especially after having like such great memories in the city and like remembering my dad i was just going through it and i was just like sitting in noah's arms just bawling my eyes out i could not stop crying and so then, I don't know, I felt this thing in my heart and I said, Noah, can we actually just walk over to my dad's memorial so I can just go 
be with him because if you guys don't know I think I've said it before but my dad was never found and so basically in my head is like still at the memorial like that's where he is and you know growing up we lived in Massachusetts we didn't have a place to go to that really was him we didn't have like a grave site or anything to really go you know talk to my dad and so he walked me over and I just cried to my dad honestly I was just standing there touching my dad's name and just really just taking it all in and it was a really special moment because I've never really done that I never like had a place and I finally felt like that was my place to just be with him and it was really cool when we were standing there the lights illuminated his name illuminated the lights came on over the pool because it was night out and I don't know if I've ever seen it at night and that was just really really special I just remember like standing there and being like wow this is so cool so then the next day passes it is now September 13th and we filmed a little bit more for the video that I'm doing on my dad and then we went to Soho and Soho is my favorite place to shop in New York City we had bagels we had pizza we had what else did we have coffee we just had all of our favorite favorite things in New York and pasta oh my gosh so good we shopped we just had like an overall good day we it was just so much fun and then it was time to go do something that i've been wanting to do for a while and that is buy a ring so for me all my jewelry represents something whether it's like my dad's name on my wrist which i don't wear this often because it gets caught on everything or my mom's bracelet that she gave me or my rings which all my rings signify something like this one is my ring from Israel and it says Psalm 46 6 in Hebrew then I have my ring that says I love Jesus I have my ring that I bought in Disney World just from Pandora but it just honestly still means a lot to me because I bought it in Disney World and that's like my place that's why I moved to Florida then I have Noah's team snacky ring which represents his life and what he stands for and then I actually have my aura ring which is honestly just an Apple watch but as a ring it just tracks everything so that was not really meaningful but that one helps my life a lot and like my sleep tracking and stuff and then i have this finger which is my most important finger well you know besides my ring finger but it has noah's ring on it noah gave me a promise ring when we were in new york city for my birthday two years ago so that's like my favorite ring ever and then i went to cartier and i got a ring for my dad and i never had a way to really represent my dad like on my rings like i never had anything i would sometimes wear like his jewelry like i have his like necklace on but i get too afraid to lose this and then even my bracelet like i don't wear that often but i always wear my rings like y'all know i always wear my rings and so i really just felt like i wanted to get a ring for my dad and i always knew i wanted to like represent him in some way and i never wanted to get a tattoo and so the best thing for me is to get a ring and i wanted one that lasts forever like literally forever and so I went to the store and I got a ring for my dad and I feel like this year was just such a special year with my dad's story I finally got to make a video about it and now I have some other things in the works with my dad's story and what I feel called to do and what my purpose is for my life and I always said I wanted to help people and it's honestly through remembering my dad and so this is just the year for him and y'all know my favorite favorite jewelry is Cartier and I always said I never wanted to just buy it because I don't feel like I earned it or anything and that was what I originally said when Noah bought me it and so this one wasn't for me it was more for my dad and it's a love ring so I always like I don't know having a love ring from Noah is so special but I also wanted one for my dad to wear both my important men on my finger because I feel like my dad is such a big part of the reason why I found Noah and just so many different things in my life that my dad represents and so I wanted something that represented him so actually when we were there me and Noah got our rings that we have for each other our promise rings embroidered and it says 27 and then my dad's ring which I knew I was getting embroidered said daddy number one because that's like my saying I always said when I prayed for my dad and also he was on rescue one so it kind of just has like a double meaning there and so yeah I wear them both together and it's just like a special meaningful thing I love it like I love the way it looks I love the meaning behind it I love that it's a love ring because I know my dad loves me so much and it's just like an overall special thing to honor my dad and it was just like something I really really have been wanting to do for forever but I didn't know what I wanted to do and also it, it just always felt random but this trip had such a big meaning with my dad that I feel like it was the right time 
After we got my ring, we walked around New York City a little bit more. We saw the Freedom Tower. We went to the Ritz Carlton to get hot chocolate. We talked, we laughed. We just had so much fun. And then the next morning we flew out of New York City back to Orlando and that's where I am right now. So that was my trip. It was so much fun. I'm just so incredibly thankful for all the memories that we made there and it just couldn't have gone any better. Like even with the whole disaster of not getting there, it just made it so much more more worth it when we were there and we made so much memories and had so much fun with my family and just overall had an amazing time and I'm so sad like I get so sad when trips are over and I just like think about how much fun that was and being with my mom and just hang out with her we got to bring her to Nobu which was so much fun but yeah that was my video thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much to the moon and back I hope you guys have the most amazing day and make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye guys